you answer the question, what's happened to the throttle cable in my car? Now throughout most of history, cars had throttle cables that would make the throttle open so the car would go faster. They're very simple devices. The cable's on one end of the accelerator pedal. When you step on it, it pulls the cable, which then opens and closes the throttle. Which, of course, is a pretty simple, foolproof system for opening the throttle and letting more air in so the car can go faster. But when we look under the hood of this Volvo, you won't find any throttle cable. It's got an electronic throttle system that runs by computer. And here's an old broken one that I just replaced on the car. The throttle itself is open and closed with an electronic motor. There's no cable. And when you step on the gas, you're actually operating a computer mouse on the top that sends an impulse to the computer. The computer then looks at all the data and all its software, and it sends electricity to these tiny little wires in here to open and close the throttle. And if you haven't already guessed, when these things break, they can cost a small fortune to fix, and they do break. Now many times when they do break down, you get a light on the dash that will say something like reduced engine power. And unfortunately, to analyze these systems, you need a pretty good scan tool to do it. Hey, I hate buying this equipment, but I have to the way they build them nowadays. And when I hooked this tool up to this Volvo, it had four codes, P1167, 92CD, 9200, and 9220. Now those are all codes that have to do with the problem in the throttle assembly here. It's all computerized, you can't fix it, you can't do anything to it except for replace it. Now even though this Volvo has it hidden way down here, upside down, it's not that hard of a job to change out. There's a simple wiring harness that clips off, and just one, two, three, four bolt holes that you remove the bolts on. But of course you know it's not going to be that simple. It also has to be reprogrammed on these Volvos, which you need another fancy scan tool to do with. Needless to say, they don't want other people working on their cars, including you as the owner. You have to do this adaptation of the throttle unit, and the computer tells you what to do to make it adapt. It's basically reprogramming the computer to accept the new throttle unit. So when you're done, you can go back and you can check if there's any codes, and as you can see, there are no codes anymore. That is fix the car. Now unfortunately, it isn't just fancy European cars like these Volvos that use electronic throttles. Most cars use them nowadays. But me, I'll stick to my old Toyota that has a throttle cable. It's got 236,000 miles and it's still running strong. But if you do have a modern car that has an electronic throttle, at least now you know what you're dealing with. And remember, if you've got any car questions, visit the Scotty Kilmer channel. And now you can ask me car questions live every Saturday morning at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time on Google Events. Be there and you can ask me a question.